Alright everyone, in today's episode we are going to be making a lipless crankbait. Got it drawn out on a piece of balsa here, two and a half inches long. So I'm going to cut this piece of balsa in half, it's going to be a half inch wide lure. So uh, let's get into that, and I'll see you when I cut it out. Alright, I have the piece of wood cut in half and shaped into the shapes of our lipless crankbaits here. So we're gonna start by drawing the top profile on one of these and then copying it over to the other. I'll just be focusing on this half for the rest of the video. Those are just the chamfer lines I had to draw. We gotta leave this, this is our lip right here, so we leave that flat. Alright, just need to sand it now. I'll continue sanding this for a little bit, and I'll be back when I'm done sanding. Alright, got it all sanded down nicely. I'm going to carve some details into it now, and uh, we'll put the hardware and lead in. Alright, so we're almost done here. We just gotta put eye sockets in and then uh, seal it and put some lead in it. So I'll be back when I have the eye sockets in and I have it sealed. Alright, I have a lead hole drilled out in the bottom, in the eye hole. I also have my two hook hanger and line ties. This one goes in the top. This one's going to go in the bottom. And I will get some lead in this in a little bit. Waiting for it to heat up right now. So while we're waiting for the lead to heat up, I'm just going to cover this with super glue. Alright, I got it all nice and sealed up. Now I just 
have to wait for the lead to heat up. While we wait for the lead to heat up, I'm just going to go over and sand this down so it's nice and smooth again. So I'll be back when this is nice and smooth. We're back and uh, this is nice and smooth again. Now we're just waiting on the lead. Alright everyone, I'm back. It's been a couple days. I did get all the lead in. I had to drill an extra hole for a little bit more. That's alright. Uh, right now, it barely sinks. So it'll be perfect once we add the hook on. So next step is I'm going to go and uh, take white spray paint and give this a thick coat. And then we'll go to airbrushing it. So I'll see you when I have the coat on it and airbrush all set up. Alright, we got our layer of white on the lure now. So I want to paint it like this minnow right here. They're common in our area. They have a little stripe down the middle and some greenish, green, moss green, fading into a little bit of blue on the lateral line. A dark stripe, so I'm going to try to paint that. So I'm going to start with a little bit of pearl white. And uh, see how this goes. Okay, got the pearl white on. It doesn't show up too well on camera, but trust me, it's there. Next color, I want to do a bit of a... Uh, let's go for a little bit of gold. I was going to do silver, but we're going to do a little bit of pearlized gold. And just fade that about halfway. Gold's applied now. Can't really see that either on camera, but maybe if I get the right angle you can see it a little bit. Not a whole lot, just enough that you can see it when it reflects. The next color I'm going to apply is going to be a little, uh, a little bit of a darker blue. It's very carefully along the lateral line. Alright, we got the blue applied. The next thing I noticed on that fish is there was a little bit on the top of a, of a green, moss green. So the next color I'm going to apply is going to be a moss green. And that's just going to go on the top 
and uh, cover that mostly. Alright, so we've got that olive green on, so the next thing I want to do is uh, take our netting and give it a little bit of a, uh, tone it down a little bit with some, what do we have, sepia like color, kind of like burnt umber, just tone it down with that. Alright, that didn't do a whole lot, so I'm just going to go over it without the netting, and uh, we'll pick another color for the scales. Alrighty, uh, next color I'm going to do is black, and we're going to do that lateral line. And that'll be about it. I think I have one more color after that. So, let's get started on that. Alright, so that's what we did with the black, and I uh, just want to add a little bit of gill flare, the red, and maybe a little bit of detail on the scales with this magenta. I'll start with that. I don't know how well you can see it, but there are a bunch of scales on that now. Looks nice. And, uh, I'm gonna put the last color on, which is gonna be just a little bit of gill flare. By that I mean red.
Alright, that's about it for the paint. Now I'm gonna apply a quick clear coat to that. And, uh, I actually got, I don't know if it'll fly, but I got some of these craft glitters here. And I wanted to add, uh, one of these to the clear coat as we put it on. So we'll see how that turns out. But I'll talk to you when I have the clear coat already in setup and I'll show you guys the process then. Alright, this is my little setup right here. It's got a drill on one end, board, a little swivel, and uh, we're gonna apply a clear coat now. Now, on the glitter, I haven't decided yet, but I think if I'm going to do one, I'll probably end up doing white. So, I'll put a little bit of white in here, and we'll see how that looks. Not too much though, just a little bit. Our clear coat of choice today is, as it always will be probably, Solar Res UV Dual Cure Low Voc Resin. This stuff's pretty good, dries pretty fast, about 7 minutes of pure exposure will do it. This is what our resin looks like. Got a little bit of sparkle in it. And I'm just gonna hold the drill on and uh, carefully apply this. So I feel that it's nice and even. I'm going to turn the light on and hold it over this while I spin it. Let it even out a bit more. Carefully watch to make sure I didn't miss any spots. Like I see a little spot right here. Alright everyone, we got the lure almost dry here, it's still on its rack. I just want to thank everyone for watching. I hope y'all have a great day and I'll catch y'all later. Bye.